everybody. So today we're going to focus on burning lots of calories. And so we're going to focus on cardio. Same format, um, 45 seconds of hard, hard work and then 15 seconds of break to get a sip of water, just recuperate for a second. Um, I'll show you several different levels um, so that you can pick your fitness level that you're at. And so I hope it'll be good, something that you'll enjoy. Um, make sure that you've warmed up a little bit before you get started. You can do that by doing the first few exercises um, at a little bit lower intensity level, um, and then take it up a little bit, take a little um, quick um, walk, um, anything that will get your body good and warm before you begin. So we're gonna get started. Give ourselves 10 seconds to get started. We're gonna start with high knees. And so high knees, you can simply bring your arms and knees together, or you can take it up, really add some intensity, try to pull those knees up as high as you can. Make sure you're breathing. Sometimes I hold my breath. Make sure you breathe in and out. Find the rhythm that works for you. throughout all the exercises. That simply means pulling that belly button into your spine. Good job. Keep going. Good. That's exercise number one. Exercise number two, we're going to go ahead and get out of the way. It's everybody's least favorite usually. It's the burpee. So I'll show you a couple of different levels of that. And you pick the one that works best for you. So level one, you're simply going to step back, step up, and reach up. Make it a little more challenging, jump back, jump up, and then the full burpee. Go down into a push-up, jump up, squat, jump, push-up. Alright, here we go. as you can. Keep breathing. Good job. Almost over. Yes. Ah. First one's over with. Here we go. Exercise number three is called skater. Whew. Let me get my breath. So a couple of levels for that. First, you can just start by stepping really wide. Swing those hips and those arms. Then you can take it up. Really do that twist and get that added oblique work. Breathing's getting difficult. Heart rate's up. That's a good thing. Ten seconds. You got it. Keep going. Keep smiling. Good job. Number four, fourth workout or exercise today is a jump squat. So you definitely want to want to get your breath back. Level one of this is simply doing a squat and then reaching up. Reach up. But if you want to add that intensity, add, add that jump. After our leg workout yesterday, you should really feel this one. 15 seconds. If you get tired, stop a second. Jump right back in. Six seconds. Yes. All right, yesterday we did this exercise, butt kicks. Get your breath back. Get a sip of water if you'd like. 
Oh, okay. Yesterday, remember this move? You can pull it up, really put your arms into it, or add that intensity. Pull those heels up to that honey. Breathing. Holding those abs. Good posture, stand up straight. 10 seconds, you got this, come on. We got it. All right, good one, good one. Get me a spill water here. The next ones are called froggers. Um, it's basically the bottom half of the burpee. So, lower intensity, stepping out, higher intensity, jumping it out, winging like a frog. Halfway done now with round one. So keep it up. You're running major calories. We're gonna do some jump rope. We can do this. If you've got a jump rope, great. If you don't, just use that motion. Try to get both feet off the ground at the same time. But if you can't, you can do a little skip back and forth. Good job. Jump rep is a great calorie burner. It's one of the things I used to dread the most, and now I always enjoy it. So work hard at those things that are hard for you, and you'll be able to do them. Here we go. Good job. All right, next is gonna be a jumping jack. So I really want you to focus on trying to land flat-footed if you can and bringing your hands all the way at the top. So, your modification is just going to be a simple wide step and then of course the traditional jumping jack. Try to land as flat-footed as possible. Touch this hand at the top and breathe. Oh, and hold in your abs. Good job. Keep going. Whew. Almost there. You got this. Whew. Good job. Two more. Two more. And there are a couple of my least favorites. So I'm glad you're doing them with me to help me get them through. This first one is a jump lunge. And so, modification is simply gonna be to just do regular lunges. Making sure that your knee stays in line with your heel. But then, your higher intensity is to jump it up. You can always do a few high, and then go right back into the low. Go into the high. Just keep moving the whole 45 seconds. Yay, we made it through. Those were tough. All right, the next one is a mountain climber. Now, you can do these standing up if you need to. And you're gonna use opposite arm and leg. 
But the goal is to do them on the ground. So you can step forward in that plank position, or you can run it out. Drive those knees up to your chest. Try to keep that booty out air. Shoulders over your hands. Again, you can go in and out. Keep moving, whatever you do. Moving, breathing, holding in those abs. And you're done. Good job. Whew. So, that's your first round. Hopefully, um, you'll be able to get in through at least one round, maybe up to three, depending on your fitness level. Again, you don't have to do all the rounds at the same time. You can do a round in the morning and then do another one in the afternoon or the evening. So, I hope that you enjoyed this workout. If you're sweating as much as me, breathing hard, it's a good thing. Have a great day and God bless.